Hi everybody, Brian here from One Year Out Productions. I just want to say a quick thank you for being a subscriber to my channel here, One Year Out Productions, and if you haven't, please subscribe. Uh, a programming note today, uh, my Wisconsin here on One Year Out Productions will be on a two-week rotating schedule with my secondary channel called Mow the RV and Me. I'm going to put a link down below to Mow the RV and Me, and if you'd be so kind to please subscribe to that channel as well. Uh, my Wisconsin and Mow the RV and Me will be on a two-week rotating schedule. So today, October 15th, 2016, is the turn for My Wisconsin, and then the following week will be Mow the RV and so on. So let's get on with my Wisconsin, and thanks for watching.
All right, so I'm heading up the trail here, and you can see that the sky is a little cloudy today. I was hoping for sunny weather to kind of get the full effect of the colors, but I'll do my best here. And one thing I'm going to zoom in on here right now. So you look off in the distance there, a big tree turning red. That is what I love most about fall, is those comparisons in color. Pulling back out, and yeah, my tripod's down there. Let's go further in the trail and get a look around. Alright, so I am coming out into the first opening in the trail area onto some open fields. And what I'm looking for out here is some historic buildings that are on this private property. So if I'm going to get out into the open here, and oh look, the sun is coming out just as I am breaking out of the woods. Wow. Get better lucky to get a shot here now before the sun disappears behind the clouds again. Wow. Yeah, and here are the buildings. I found them. So let's get up on there, take a look and see what uh, these places are. And uh, explore. Alright, so the first building I came up on here is the original Pike River Schoolhouse that was used from 1847 until 1906. Let's go check it out. Ah, this is cool. So imagine yourself in the 19th and early 20th century, and this is what school would look like. Backing into the corner so you can get a good shot here. This is very cool. It looks like it was heated by a wood burning stove. Cool. An old election ballot. Teacher's desk. Yeah, I'm being quiet. It's almost na almost second nature when you're in school. You be quiet and be attentive. <laughs> you look through the window here, and there is the facilities if you were in school. That is awesome. All right, let's go check the other buildings out. All right, adjacent to the building I was just in here, I'm reading the sign, which is probably out of shot. It was originally a town hall from 1857 until 1965. So let's see what the locals would do when they visited the town hall. Um, got an echo. <laughs> Big place. Looks like this would be the area where they would stand and make speeches. An old ballot box and voting booths. And a place where they would stand and make speeches. Very cool. What do we have here? Since it is the year of our national election, 
Who are we voting for? Abraham Lincoln of Illinois for vice president or Andrew Johnson of Tennessee? I think we'll go with Lincoln. Um, I'm tempted to ring the bell, but I think I'll be quiet. I'll just give it a quick. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's go out and check okay, the other Okay, now I read the plaque again, which is out of shot. But this was the replacement schoolhouse to the one off there in the distance. And its plate shows that it was used from 1906 to 1962. So almost a full 60 years. Let's go on up and see an early 20th century to mid-century schoolhouse. Oh yeah, a little more bigger and of course more sound echo. But uh, yeah, it held a lot more students than the other one. Cool. So let me go back and see what they have on display back here. Oh look, a photograph from 1954. Cool. And some native fish of Wisconsin. Walleye, coho, and largemouth bass. And some a burled wood cutout from a tree. Various butterflies, and of course, in our fall theme, look at that, some leaves. Cool. All right, let's get back out in the woods.
All right, I'm gonna try to hold this as stable as I can and not fall down. Look at this uh, stone path I'm walking on here. Somebody took the time and energy to lift these humongous pieces of stone and created this beautiful path through the woods here. Coming up on the water. And I want to get a good shot over there. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that walk through the woods looking at the fall colors, the historic buildings, and that teepee I came upon. I did, was quite surprised to see that out there in the woods. The fall colors here in Wisconsin are just about at peak. There is a lot of green left and a lot more to see. So if you guys are in Wisconsin or want to come up to Wisconsin and see some wonderful fall colors, this is the place to be. So thanks for watching my Wisconsin. Where I'm going from here, I always say I'm not sure, but I do have some things in the plan. So uh, until next time, we'll see you out there.